link in the email to verify your account. Number two, start using Xero, log into Xero and start exploring features. After logging in, you'll be taken to your personal Xero homepage where you can organize your company files. I'm gonna zoom in a bit to see it a little better, holding down control, zooming in on the mouse wheel. I'm at 175% zoom in. The next logical step, if you were gonna set up a new company file, would be to add an organization. However, before we do that, note you wanna think about using the demo file. Also note that I have some company files down below already because I already had an, a Xero account set up before. If this is the first time you've set up your Xero account, you're not gonna have any company files down here. Uh, in the future, if you work with multiple companies, you can go in, log in here, and log into the company file that you are working with. However, for practice, the demo file is great because it already has data in it. So if I hit the drop down, we could find the demo file here. For the first half of the course, we'll be using the demo file because it already has data in it. It allows us therefore to deconstruct the end result, the financial statements drilling back down to the data input in the forms. That may also allow us not to utilize the 30 day free trial until we actually wanna practice with our own data adding a new account and with the with the building of a new account which we will do in the second half of the course so the first half of the course we will deconstruct what's in a file already built the demo file the second half of the course will construct a new file from scratch a great tool because then you get to deal with those foundational items now note just from a business standpoint for zero you would think that they would want to apply the 30 day free trial when you start to be using your own data, when you start a new company file, because that's when you're gonna be adding your own data. And once you start building your system, you're more likely to start paying for the software after that 30 day uh, time frame has ended. So you might be able to practice, in other words, with zero, with the demo, and then practice a little more with the 30 day free trial, either with your own data or, or with some practice data. We will be using practice data in the second half of the course with the, with the new organization. Now, if I click on this, if you were to complete the process, then you would be adding your data here, the business name, the industry, we'll talk more about this in the future, the country, uh, do you have employees, verifying that you're not a robot, and then you could start uh, the trial, hopefully being able to get access to that free 30 day trial at that point. Again, we will be doing that in the second half of the course and the first half of the course we'll be using the demo file. We'll continue with that in future presentations.